got several items to talk about today. First item for today is one that I'm very excited about. These, I got these just now at my local Goodwill. They've got the scrunchy top, as we can see. There's no pockets or back pockets. And the bottoms are like an awkward length. So let me hold them up for myself. This is what they look like. And this is the length that they go to. Like just below the knee. That's kind of weird. But I do need more jean shorts. So what I'm going to do is cut them into jean shorts and then distress them. Now I guess I'm just going to cut. It's kind of scary because these were actually pretty comfortable to wear. But I just don't wear capris that much. You know what I mean? Why does it say low battery? These are the expensive batteries now. Sorry that you can see this pole. I can't really do too much about it. I'm laying the pants flat down. Okay. One pant leg off. I really hope I'm not just ruining these right now. All right, second pant leg is off. Well, they don't look horrendously uneven, so now I'm going to start distressing. What I use is like a pair of pliers like this. If you have any friends who are like carpenters or like handymen or something like that, they should have a pair of pretty strong pliers like that. Do not use tweezers like that way you use for your eyebrows because you will want to die from how difficult that is. And then for this rough edge right here, it's too perfect. It looks like it just got cut, like it's a little too perfect. So I'm going to be taking the threads and just tearing them out. And just keep, just grab it and just pull. Just, just keep going. Just to show you like my technique, I just did kind of this area. It does take a while, but like, so I just kind of did that and, oh, that looks kind of bad on camera. Just to show my technique, I don't know how well I'll be able to show this, but I basically think of it like this. The white strings are the one you want. The white strings go across. The blue strings go up and down. That's kind of how I've been thinking of it. So what you want to do is make cuts that are going across because you want to cut as few of the white strings as you can, but you want to remove the blue strings. So see, I have like a little section here, um, a strip of where white strings are not cut. And then what I'm basically doing, let me see if I can do this on camera. Is I'm, is that way too close? That was a little too close. Okay. I'm taking the pliers, grabbing the blue strings, and pulling them so it's gonna be kind of hard but just pull them out of their place you know what I mean so it takes a little bit of effort but when the blue strings come out it leaves the white strings behind and those are the strings that are there and make them look like kind of the way that they're supposed to look if that makes sense I'll show you the end product you know what I mean it's kind of hard it's hard to explain the process so these are not done yet, so they don't look really that distressed yet, but this is about what I've done so far. I'm still going to put them, if you put them through the wash and laundry, then those hems that are a little bit too clean still will become unclean, but um, that's what I've done so far, and I am kind of just want to move on to the next thing for right now. So I might come back to this later on and keep distressing, but it is really like time-consuming work. You have to pull each and every single individual thread, and then if you accidentally pull a little bit too hard, you could rip all the white threads and then all that work was for nothing, so. But look at the ground. But look at this ground covered in threads. Can we believe it? The next thing is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I want to turn this into like a muscle dance shirt or whatever. This is just a normal t-shirt, but it's a little bit too um, tight around the arms for me. And also like, I don't know, I have just, I've just not really been messing with it as a regular t-shirt. So I'm going to cut the sleeves off. One sleeve off. Every time you cut a t-shirt, you always want to go real quick into the line and then stretch it out a little bit more like this to see you get that roll that can cover up any like bad cuts or anything like that so that's one side oh this is so skinny that's okay it's important to check I have about one inch on this shoulder outside of the collar so I need to make sure that I hit about one inch to keep it symmetrical and also make sure that you go as low as you did on the other side so you don't have like one side that's too high I'm actually also going to dye this shirt like a little bit. So I've got a cup with 
water, dish soap, and salt, if you can remember from the last time. I'm using denim blue fabric dye. This dye really is the gift that keeps on giving. All right, hold on, this is a situation. Okay, so I crumpled it up, ta-da. It's all crumpled up, here's the dye. I'm just gonna drop some on. That might have been too much, or too little. That might have been too much. What the heck is this? It looks like mold. Okay, let me try to put more on, I guess. It's because it wasn't wet. Crap, it wasn't wet. Let me just wet it real quick. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's not reaching, it's not reaching. Hi, Steve. <laughs> it's fine. Now I've got a few shirts that I wanted to like bleach. So first I've got my homecoming 2018 shirt. Beautiful, but I go to the school, which means that I have so many shirts that are called navy blue. So I'm going to go ahead, this is what the back of it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and bleach spot it because that's very cute right now. That's very trendy and cute. This is my tip whip shirt, but I got this shirt for free and low key it's kind of cool. However, I need to just change it. I always like doing the spiral pattern, but I like to start it on the side, if that makes sense. So like where other people doing spiral pattern would scrunch here and then twist here, I like to scrunch like here and then twist there. So here's what this one looks like all scrunched up. This is the tip whip shirt. This is the homecoming shirt. This one's actually like spiralified. So let's go over to the grass. All right, here they are next to each other. Here's the bleach, pretty. Don't worry about that, so I just went into the pool. Oh my gosh, it's not even hitting it. We're gonna have to get closer. This one like lightened up so quickly, holy cow. Let's flip her over and do the other side. going to let those sit. Look at that, that's crazy. This lightened up so fast. That one's like, mm. but this one's like, Wah. These ones I'm a little bit more hesitant about because these are like nice jeans. But I have this pair of capris that I've always kind of thought were a little bit too boring. And I think I'm going to dye them. Or I'm going to try that thing where you bleach like one side of them just to see if it works. I'm gonna do the left side. I bunched it up. This is what they look like, free leg. Don't want this one. This is the one that we want, so let's go. So here are the pants. I've wet down that one side that I want to bleach. So, All right, so my phone died, or not my phone, my camera died, but I did pour the bleach on, but the only thing that is that I forgot to put like a rubber band right in between to prevent bleach from coming to this side. I think that it's okay. You can see there's different colors going on right now. All right, I unraveled them and I was right. There like, did not look like there was enough bleach at the leg the leg area. Since we've got our things marinating, I can give you guys a little tour of my mom's garden. Here's her yellow flowers. They're growing very nicely. Here's her other yellow flowers that are probably the same actually. Aren't they nice? Here's the wind chime that keeps me up at night. I've got more yellow flowers right here. I've got some purple flowers right here. My mom's very into flowers. Here are some purple ones. And here are some pink ones. Here are some mixture of the purple and pink ones. Okay, so wish me luck, but I am actually going to try to distress these pants. Um, I thought maybe I shouldn't, but they're kind of weird pants because they don't really have like a front buckle or anything and the this is the front right here like this weird part there are pockets they're like full-length pants so we'll see if i can do it i'm gonna try to make them like ripped jeans 